Um, it's late in the day. It's been a really good and lively day. We're uh, thrilled to be uh, up here before uh, the end of the day. We're also aware of the fact that we stand between um, you and an Adapon sponsored reception. So <laughs> we'll do all we can to keep you uh, engaged in a lively fashion. And we're going to have presentations and then Q&A after that. Um, I encourage you all to tweet to hashtag STM Spring 2014 if you would like to do that. Um, and I would also encourage you, as our last moderator did, to fill out the evaluation forms because I know that STM always finds them very helpful. Okay, so I'm Glenn Campbell. I'm the North American Managing Director for the BMJ, and I'm going to just do a few slides to introduce funding research, a dark future with a misspelling in it for science. Uh, there, seeing how many of you are paying attention late in the day. That's the intent of that particular uh, slide. Um, and uh, I'm going to also try to figure out what I'm doing wrong here. Why am I... What have I done? Oh, no, no, you're all um, younger than I am, so it does. Um, page down. There you go. Some sobering slides here just to introduce this topic. You know, the U.S. has arguably been the leader in biomedical research in the world for as long as I've been alive. It is also, um, the, uh, the basic biomedical research enterprise in the U.S. is also the best in the world. Um, at its foundation is the NIH, which is, of course, uh, a crown jewel in U.S. institutions, perhaps I should say a Republican jewel, not a crown jewel, in U.S. institutions. And it has also um, been a leader in not only taking, uh, uh, producing basic uh, biomedical research output, but also seeing the translation of that into improved clinical outcomes and improved patient care. Um, the current model, though, has been questioned by many as to its sustainability. Um, and one particular fact is that during the sequester, NIH funded 650 fewer research grants in the fiscal year 2013, a truly terrifying number. Uh, there is another slide here for another sobering view. Look at what science R&D spending in the US and Canada compared to China, Germany, Japan, and South Korea uh, over the year 2013 a tremendously sobering slide. This biomedical research output has also been a tremendous driver of economic growth in the United States. Questions about that. Questions about how all of the constituents, researchers, Congress, administration officials, policymakers, and ultimately the public will come to some kind of view about the future of funding of science um, are those that our panel is going to take up here today. And our distinguished panelists include Sam Stein, who's a political reporter for the Huffington Post, Alan DeCherney on the end there, who's a senior investigator for the National Institute of Child Health and Human Development, Elaine Oligood, who is the chief of library service for the Boston VA Healthcare Systems three campuses, Michelle, Dr. Michelle McGee, who is MedStar Health Research Institute and MedStar Washington Hospital. All of these uh, individuals have a point of view um, and are going to speak to either how biomedical research is done, what the application is or means for disease, what's going on with regard to funding, what's going on at NIH. So after they do some brief presentations, we'll have uh, from all of you questions and answers, and we look forward to